question ten is all about symmetry. It says shade two squares and one triangle to make this design symmetrical about the mirror line. Keyword there is mirror. So if you haven't got a mirror, get one, put it on the dotted line, and have a look inside to see what you're expecting to see. Now there's actually two or three ways we could do this. So the first way is to see what squares pair up on both sides of the mirror line. So this square is symmetrical to this square, so they pair up. This square doesn't have anything symmetrical yet, so if we go on the other side of the mirror line, this square would have to go there. And now this square can pair up with this one. Okay. This square hasn't got anything to pair up with. Now as you can see, this makes sort of like these three are joined together in like an R shape. And that's going to fit right in this gap here. So now this square here will pair up with this one. Another way of thinking about it is from this square to the mirror line, there's half a triangle. So we need to leave half a triangle on the other side and then do the square. Okay, so these three squares are now all symmetrical. The only thing we've got left to do is this triangle. Okay, now this triangle, if I start here and go to the corner, there is then another half a square, another triangle left to the mirror line. So I need to leave on the other side that same triangle and then draw my other triangle. So now those two triangles will pair up. So that is my finished design. So that now is symmetrical. Okay, put your mirror on the dotted line and double check that, that what you see inside the mirror is what we've drawn and hopefully it should be okay. Another way of doing it would be to get some tracy paper. So if you get some tracy paper and trace the shape, as long as you trace the shape and trace the mirror line, then what you've got to do is flip the tracy paper over it, not rotate it. It's got to be a flip over, it can't be a rotate. Flipping is right, rotating is wrong. Okay, so once you have flipped your paper over, you should get something like this. Now if you bring it in and place the dotted mirror line that you've traced over the top of the mirror line on the diagram, Remember, this tracing paper has already been flipped. Then you'll be able to see where you've got to draw the new, the, the extra squares and triangles. Okay, it's going to be a little bit tricky because what you'd have to do is peel the tracing paper up and carefully draw the two squares and the triangle in. But that's what you would see if you flip it over. Okay.